So I think a lot of times people stay at home during vacation and in the traditional thinking of financial services, I wonder if you've ever thought about this, where does vacation fall in terms of needs or wants? Ooh, that's a great question. Yeah, that's a tough one. I think not necessarily pre-pandemic, but there was always a sense of it being in the need category because of, of the importance of getting away, having a mental health break, probably maybe a bit more dependent on your stage of life or your stage of work or the type of job or just how busy it was. So I definitely feel as though there was good reason for it to be brought in the need category. I think if you had to give one answer, you would probably almost always put it in the want category just because there are other options. You don't have to always do that. And vacations mean a lot of different things to different people. Now that we've gone through the pandemic, I think you could start to begin to see the pent up demand to go on a getaway and to really get away, like out of the house getaway, since we were all hanging out in our houses so much. And it probably moved up on the need category, the need side of that equation a little more than ever before. So yeah, I think you can put it in both camp. I think I'm sure we'll go there today, but we'll talk more about what level is right for you and almost how can you right size your vacation so that it can fit into both camps, I guess. It can fit as a need, it can fit as a want, but you can afford it in both cases. That's the important part. Yeah, good term, right sizing. I agree with you. It's, if we were to ask the same question about cell phones, need or want, and I think some people would adamantly defend both that they don't need it and others absolutely need it. And I would probably be in the camp of needing it. 